What is going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, so it feels like it's actually been a hot minute since I've brought you guys a Sugrafez video, uh, but of course Treasure Map rolls around, I always like to do a few pulls here on TM, also with the debuting Frankie, I think the Frankie's not a terrible unit, although I'm not really the biggest fan of the TM rare recruits this time around with Tom and Iceberg, albeit they have fantastic supports for Frankie himself. I just don't think they're really going to see that much play outside of the event period, but hey, you know, getting the boosters is always a nice thing, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the actual boosted list for the, at least this treasure map, and I know the last few treasure maps, it definitely seems like the boosted list is getting, like, smaller and smaller every TM, and I absolutely hate it, so that's one thing that I, that I hope that they do end up fixing. We just need more characters available to ensure that, you know, reaching that, that threshold of 10 million points to just secure the rewards the base rewards is actually doable because otherwise it takes a lot of investment i know a lot of people are not willing to invest that much time into tm um so you know that's just one thing i've noticed really not not a big fan of that that really needs a bit of a change because the, the boosted list right now it looks it looks pretty bad but um i digress we're here to talk about the sugar fest today um in, in terms of the Sugo, like, obviously, we want to get Frankie. That's that's the number one ideal character. But in terms of the other characters that have boosted on part one, at least, uh, for part one, all of the TM legends are available, but they have, like, reduced rates to be pulled. Um, and for part one in particular, because the, all of the TM ones are here, I mean, it's always nice to go for, I guess. But the only real one I actually need, surprisingly, is just the Onsen Luffy, the blue Luffy. So that's the only one I really need. So realistically, could also just wait for part two to be honest, because, you know, Onsen Luffy is, is also present alongside the uh, the brand new Frankie. So we want to get Frankie, we want to get the new characters, of course, and I know that there's still a couple of other previously released TM Rare Recruits that I personally do not own yet. Uh, last month, we got extremely lucky as I was able to secure the Usopp, and I still want to make a video for Usopp, and in particular, his Pyre Rumble stuff, because he actually looks pretty decent in Rumble. So I'll probably make a video about that over the next couple of days. But uh, here, we're, talk we're talking about the Sugar Fest. Enough chitter chatter. Let's jump into it, though. We've got the discount here, 30 gems, and then we've got um, some, some pretty bad steps, and a guaranteed new unit on the 4th. So meaning... The 11th poster of the 4th multi, if it is a red, you're guaranteed to get Frankie, at least on part 1. I believe the, the, the pull steps might be a little bit different on the other parts, but let's just start it. Let's start it and, uh, and see what we get. Hopefully, we get some good luck. I believe it's 10% chance to get a red. Here we go. Discount multi. Let's see what we get. Not the greatest animations, I must admit. Gold text is pretty good. Potentially might get something here. I don't really know what to expect. Only one cut in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No special gold poster. No red poster. Not a good start. Not a good start. Oh, we, get, we do get a secret red. Okay, well, it's not extended. And it's going to be Nami Carrot. I mean, that, that's a very, very good unit to pull. Um, fantastic switch effect. Good special ability. Just a straight up good unit, man. Like, Nami Carrot, very, very useful. And uh, Nami and Carrot get access to some pretty good supports as well. So, overall... Very, very good unit to pull. Obviously not a new unit, but hey, it is what it is. At least we did get a red. You know, that's the average. You know, 10% chance you're hoping to secure at least one red per multi on average, right? If you're falling below that, it's not really that fun. So hopefully we can get a little bit lucky. As I said, we got really lucky last month uh, getting the Usopp on. I think it was literally the first multi we got the Usopp, which was so wild. Although I did do, I think, up to four multis to actually get one of the other booster units alongside it. Egghead Zora from the 10th anniversary, that's a pretty cool unit to pull, but I believe I already have him pretty close to max level limit break, if not, you know, getting him close is always a good thing. Uh, the 11th poster here is literally just a random po poster, so it could be anything, and it's just going to be Kuzan, okay, so... Uh, not the greatest multi for me to start off with, but, you know, we at least did get a, a TM Legend from the from the pool altogether, which is kind of cool, I guess, but it's just not exactly what we're looking for here. Multi number two, we get a guaranteed Legend or a Raid Boosted character, so, again, not really much to, to suggest that we could get something good from this. Animations look a little better. No shooting stars, though, so I'm not 100% sure. We see the kitty cat there. And the gold text. Remember, if we do see red text, it means it's guaranteed to be Onsen Luffy or the Frankie for me. But this is looking pretty good so far. I like the look of this. We've got some treasure. We've got two cut-ins. We have three cut-ins. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Nine, ten. All right. So we're guaranteed to get one on the eighth poster. Um, but those animations were really good. I wouldn't be surprised if there is another red here, but 
It's looking pretty good so far. Looking pretty good. Okay, that is a TM Rare Recruit Nami. Pretty cool. And considering how much Wano stuff we have, you know, in One Piece Treasure Cruise, it's crazy how, how many Rare Recruits and units are dedicated to Wano just due to the fact that we've just had so many celebrations in Wano, you know what I mean? Ooh, actually, I don't have this guy. Uh, Hody and Vanderdecken. Yeah, this is one of the Rare Recruits that came out with Dofi, Sugar, and Moria Perona. This is a really good unit. I mean, legit, this special ability is bonkers with what it does. Like, it just does so much. It does cooldown reduction, switch cooldown reduction. It does damage to all enemies, ignoring defensive effects. It does defense reduction through immunity. It gives you a conditional boost. It does end of turn damage for three turns. It does chain boost for two for three turns. And it gives you a full board of matching slots through block. Like, this, this special is a crazy, crazy good. Um, yeah, big, big fan of, of pulling that. This unit is great. Great, great unit to pull. We like that. So, as I said, the red is on the 8th. So, do we get another one in here? That'd be hype. Ooh, Kaya. Did I pull... I, I, sh I don't think I pulled her last month. Yeah, that's good. That's really, really good. Um, Kaya's unique in what she does because she's literally one of the only Dex Cerebral units in the game that does color affinity for three turns surprisingly enough i wanted it for some piece of content um when i was doing a showcase i think for one of the pieces of content uh, over the past couple of weeks and i didn't pull this unit and this is like one of the only units that would, would fulfill a certain role so that's awesome that we have that what was her support attaching to usopp if you use a special boost orbs and changes the character to matching cooldown not a great support but cool it was a unit i didn't have so we take those right we take those Here's our, here's our red poster, though. What is it gonna be? What is it gonna be? Oh, Katakurian Oven. Okay, I mean, it's... Unfortunately, one of the uh, weaker legends to debut over the past couple of years. But, uh, I mean, hey, it's my boy Mr. Slam Gem coming to say hello. We take that, we take that. Another TM Rare Recruit in Smoker, or Tashigi in Smoker's Body. And then we've got uh, Hold Him. So this is a rate boosted character or a Sugofest exclusive. It is a Sugofest exclusive. Hello? Not extended though. Oh, dude, the bait. The bait. The bait. Oh, Frankie Tanky coming to say hello. I mean, it's a Frankie unit. It's a Sugofest exclusive, but it's the wrong one. Oh, man, that's a feels bad. Dang. I mean, overall though, pretty good multi because I was able to secure two brand new units and we got two Sugrafest exclusives. So, I mean, it definitely could have been a worse multi. So we take that. Definitely much, much better than what we got in that first multi. And we move on to the next one though. Uh, guaranteed Legend or Rate Boost. Hoping for some cool animations once again. Here we go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Ooh, okay. I'm not sure. Not sure. Let's see. No kitty cat. Mm, animation's not looking too hot. We do see some treasure. Two cut-ins? Maybe. There might be something. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, there is a red. Yes, awesome. Another opportunity here. All right, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Are we going to get anything cool? Rare Recruit's not looking too hot right now. Uh, I don't know. This one looks like a bit of a bad multi. Maybe that tenth maybe the 10th poster will bring it back but considering the animations it's not hyping me up that it's going to be anything new or anything like that but things can happen like that you could get the worst animations possible and boom you pull the debut character it can happen right and it's about to happen right now no it's not <laughs> oh the bait dude the bait no shot dude oh that's so stupid they really went ahead and gave me two frankie legends the ones that aren't the debut frankie the bait oh my god title of the video already confirmed dang that sucks okay so this is a rate boosted character and it's gonna be oh kawina oh this this came out recently oh nice i i did not pull on the the zoro sanji banner i didn't pull on the nami robin banner so any of those rare recruits i really need so that's dope okay cool another new rare recruit we take those man we take those if you use the special, reduces despair by one, boost attack, it's a good support, we'll see play, fear reduction, love to see it, alright, you know, we take that new unit, but the bait again with Legend Frankie, that is ridiculous, uh, we're gonna move on now to the, uh, to the fourth pull here, which is a guaranteed new unit, so, you know, if we get a gold, it's Iceberg or it's Tom, if we get a red on the 11th, though, that's what we want, that's what we want, alright, new character, here we go, let's see what they give us today. What's it gonna be? Well, animation's looking pretty spicy, actually. Ha hang on. 
Dude, these animations looking good. Like, this is like everything except for the red hockey. Dude, these animations look kind of spicy. Hold up. Two? Literally everything except for red hockey, dude. That was crazy. Number three? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. Ten. Okay, two reds. Guaranteed new unit at the end. Hold up, yo. Hold up. This could be kind of spicy, man. All right. Let's see what this, uh, what this multi's got cooking. Here we go. Here's our red. <sighs> this is painful, dude. Really? <laughs> Another bait with, with Frankie. Bro, wh what is going on right now? Seriously, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Another team rare recruit, by the way. I think it was number eight was the next red. Number six. Are they really going to do it again? This is another relatively new rare recruit as well. Are they going to do it again? He's an ex-red. No, it's number nine. Another team rare recruit, by the way. Not extended. Team legend jewelry, Bonnie. I love this artwork, by the way. Really, really cool. But dang, dude. Not what we're looking for. But everything can change if we get a red poster right here on this number 11 guaranteed new unit. No, it's just a gold. So, Iceberg or Tom. And it's going to be Tom. Okay, so I don't remember exactly what Tom did. Let me go ahead and do a quick rundown. So, it does the attack down reduction, does the chain boost, changes right slots into tandem, damage reduction if you've got tap timing bonus damage when you launch the special. It does a chain buff, extends it, blah, blah, blah. I just don't think these rare recruits are really that great, but yeah, you know that they're going to be useful in this upcoming TM. That's for damn sure. Um, okay, I guess with that we're go we're going to do one more just to just to wrap it up. Just do a sneaky a sneaky fifth one. You know what I mean? Maybe we'll do a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a crank crank this last one just a little bit, just just to, just a little bit, just to wrap it up. Multi number five. This is the final pull of the TM for me. Let's see what it's going to be. Animations are good though, dude. We're getting some good animations today, dude. Two, three, four, five. Very good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So two more opportunities, but you know, th with that that guaranteed animation, you know, guaranteeing you the new debut character, I can't really get too excited, and we're just gonna hope that we get lucky. But as I said, you know, you can get the, the worst animations possible, and you can still pull like debut characters. It is possible. But, uh, not guaranteed, of course. He's our first red of the multi. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be Dex Newgate, which is not ideal for us. Um, if we could randomly just pull the Iceberg as well, I mean, that'd be pretty sick, but I'm not expecting that to show up either. Only a couple more opportunities here in this Sugo Fest. We got Sentamaru, second last. He's gonna be Kizaru, last opportunity to potentially pull Iceberg. No, it's gonna be Carrot, so... Last pull here, guaranteed legend. Let's see what happens, man. Let's see what happens. Is Frankie gonna show up? He's not gonna show up. Kanjiro, get out of here, man. Get out of here. Yeah, so that, I mean, we got a couple of new rare recruits, I suppose. Considering we hadn't pulled in actually a decent amount of time, we got a couple of new rare recruits, which is pretty dope. Unfortunately, only securing one of the new units out of the, these multis was not ideal. So that that, that kind of sucks. Just getting the guaranteed one. Um, so look, it is what it is. Can't really complain too much because, you know, you, you know what you're getting yourself into pulling on these TM Sugo Fest, you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, in terms of what we pulled, I mean, we've got a bunch of new stuff. But of course, the highlight being Tom, which we will definitely be using in the upcoming treasure map against... Um, who's the actual boss against? I don't know. Either way, not important. Treasure map is coming up though. I'll be uploading like TM prep stuff over the next couple of days. So stay tuned to the YouTube channel for that. Hopefully you enjoyed the video though. If you did, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And that guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.